Yarn is an alternative to npm install that works a lot faster and LangerCLI is a large NVM package that could use some speed improvements. When you create a new project using LangerCLI, it usually takes a long time to download all the required NVM dependencies. So we will see how we can use Yarn instead to make this much faster. To install Yarn, you go to yarnpackage.com and then you click install Yarn. If you are on Windows, the best way would be to use the installer. And if you are on Mac OS, best way is to use Brew, but make sure to have the path set up correctly so that you can use Yarn with global packages. To make sure that you don't have any problem with the global packages, we first need to make sure that we have the correct version of Yarn, so that should be 0.19 or higher. And then we also make sure that the Yarn folder for global packages, which we get by Yarn Global Bin, exists in our bus environment variable. Now that our yarn installation is configured correctly, we can go ahead and start adding Langer CLI as a global package. So we say yarn global add Angular CLI. And then we wait for yarn to go and download any packages or dependencies that it didn't have downloaded before and configure it so that uh, we can have the Angular CLI as a global package. Usually your install will be uh, a bit slower for the first time, but then after that it should be as fast as we saw it here. Since we have the Angular CLI globally installed now, we can use it to create a new test project. And for this one we're going to add hyphen hyphen skip nbm or s hyphen sn for short so that language CLI will only create the required files but will not run the nbm install for us then we can go to our test project and instead of nbm install we just run yarn without any arguments and this tells Yarn to go ahead and check our package.json file and install any missing um, dependencies and ensure that all the existing ones are uh, configured correctly as well. So um, now Yarn will go and download anything that's needed and will ensure that we end up with a correct node underscore modules folder after that. So now that it's done, we can just go ahead and run ng-serve. I'll call it with open here so that we can see the page running in the browser. And it opens a little bit too fast, so I'm go back and wait until the bundle is created. Now that it is created, we can see our application working in the browser. One last thing to be aware of is that if we run get status in here, we will realize that we already have all the Angular CLI files get added to our repository and ready to commit. And Yarn has added this yarn.log file to our folder, but not to git. And this is the file that Yarn would use to make the following installations even faster. So now we can just get add all our files and ensure what we got is correct again and then we can get commit what we have with a message like initial project and then after that uh, another developer can clone the repository and then they wouldn't have the node modules folder because it's get ignored by default when Zangra CLI generated the project which we can simulate by running git clean. Then they can just run npm install normally 
or for a much faster install they can run yarn and once this is finished whether nvm install or yarn we can um, see the node modules folder created and most importantly we can go and run ng build or serve or anything here i'll go and open ng serve again um so that's going to open the website in the browser and once the bundle is created we can see it working that was it for yarn with angular cli if you have any questions you can join my uh, angular newsletter on gurustop.net you can shoot the question to me on twitter as miligi or on email as miligi at gurustop.net or if you are in sydney australia you can join my monthly meetup in g sydney